of what this new team of synthesis report on water and wetlands is telling us is we have greatly undervalued what it is we get from wetlands largely for free in terms of the benefits and services they provide to people, particularly services related to managing and providing water. And the economic value of those services in wetlands, and particularly in coastal wetlands, but also in land, is huge and orders of magnitude larger than I think any of us have really realised and orders of magnitude larger than we get from some other ecosystems um, like forests. And in, perhaps if you ask most people in the street, what's the most important sort of place in the world? Uh, most people would probably say tropical forest. We now know from this team study that the value we get from wetlands is huge compared even to those important places. So every hectare you take away, you are foregoing that natural capital that you depend upon, um, largely provided to you for free. So maintaining them should be, if you like, a no-brainer. But it's not on the economic agenda at the moment strongly enough. And I think the team report will help us to put this absolute centre stage that for economic growth, for livelihoods, for maintaining people's health, um, for business to maintain its business um, plans and models for the future, we need to work to look after these places as part of that natural infrastructure for our business and our livelihoods and not treat them as smelly wastelands that are no use to anyone. You mentioned the economic value of wetlands. What kind of figures are we talking about here? What does this study tell us about the value of wetlands for economies, for human health, for livelihoods? What kind of figures do you have? The actual figures vary hugely, again, by orders of magnitude, depending on where that wetland is. It depends on the economic status of the country, the costs of restoration, the cost of labour to restore, for example, something as simple as that. The value of a fishery, of course, may vary greatly depending on which part of the world you're in. So we can't put a single figure on anything, and that would be completely wrong to do. Um, what we are now, on the basis of this first report, now starting to look at is what does that tell us about how we need to mine into some of those stories and show that relationship, for example, between the value overall we find and the GDP of the country, the economic status. But we do know, one way or another, those values are pretty high.